G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully keeping healthy and safe. Today we're gonna have a look into this Lenovo ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1. It's a plush luxury 13 inch ultra lightweight business laptop. And from my unboxing video, if you haven't checked that video out, put a link in the description below. But this Z13 looks and feels premium and executive. I'll be very proud to take one of these Z13s to a boardroom meeting or any sort of meeting as this really has a bit of fashion and it looks some build quality of it. It definitely is a really nice, stunning look. And uh, we're gonna have a look at the features of this computer as well, looking at temperatures and fan noise. And as always, I will be putting timestamps along this video so you can skip to a different section that you may be interested to save you time. The weight of the ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1 is 1.28 kilos plus the 65 watt power adapter becomes a combined weight of 1.64 kilos that you might be carrying around with you. There are three types of displays for the Z13 Gen 1. There's the Wide Ultra Extended Graphics Array and that comes in two flavors. There's a touch and non-touch version. Both are rated for 400 nits of brightness and they are IPS panel and it has an aspect ratio of 16 by 10. Now, of course, with the touch version, it is a glossy display and with the non-touch, it is a matte fiber style finishing to it. And there's also a 2.8K version, which is an OLED version of the display with a rating of a maximum of 500 nits. And that is a glossy display and it has touch as well. When I test out the 2.8K display in direct sunlight, I didn't have too much issue consuming multimedia and working on documents. Although you do get a bit of reflection from the glossy finished display. Measuring the color gamut coverage of the 2.8K OLED display with a brightness or luminance maximum rating of 500 nits, it resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 96% Adobe RGB coverage and 99% DCI P3 coverage. This is extremely high and this display is ideal for photo editing and also video editing. This is a recording from the 1080p webcam from the Lenovo ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1. This is the video and audio unedited so I can hear and see what the call of the webcam is like. I love the fact that Lenovo managed to put a 1080p webcam, especially here in 2022. I wish other manufacturers would do it, but I love the fact that Lenovo has actually done a 1080p webcam for the Z13. And as always, I've got two types of the current turned on. I've got my one studio light and also the downlights in this room turned on for ambience. I'm gonna turn off my one studio light off and the two downlights in front of me, which is a bit far away, so there's not much light hitting on my face. And so this is what I consider a dark environment. So if you're in the office environment, you should get much more light than what I would be in currently at. I'm going to turn my one studio light back on and see this adjust. Of course, better quality light gives you better quality picture. Definitely love to hear what your thoughts are of this webcam. There are two speakers located on the bottom on either side of the laptop. When I tested at the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure in a peak of 85.3 decibels, which I considered pretty decently loud for this size laptop. As for the sound quality, it surprisingly has some bass, especially for this type of laptop and only two speakers. It had quite strong mids and highs, We've got great clarity out of the speakers. I was considered this having 360 degrees acoustics and quite a nice reverb to the sound. And also is balanced more to the mids. Overall, the speakers on the Z13 is quite decent. As for the build construction and build quality of the Z13, in my opinion, I think this is ahead of the industry. It's an absolutely fantastic build quality of this. Barely does arch bend here, and we've got fantastic structure on the keyboard. It barely does much flexing. I'm putting a fair bit of weight on this as well. And even if I just do the wiggle test, you can see it is clamping very well for the hinge here. And I'll just do the one finger test as well. Very smooth for one finger and easy to lift, especially we've got this little notch. It does about stop around about the 100 degrees. And then you do need just a little bit extra help on the other side. And then it goes up to a maximum of 130 degrees. Now we've got this nice, beautiful, and this is what feels really fantastic, this vegan lever on the very top here. And we've got this beautiful brush aluminium along the sides. And we have recycled aluminium on the bottom edge as well. So this thing, you know, is sustainable. It is 
feels fantastic. Oh, and plush, plush, just like my unboxing video. This thing feels so plush. I love this. Well, I think now we've worked out this is a bronze color on the edges as well. And we've got very good cornering off each side and edge. I think that's absolutely fantastic. This thing feels great to hold in your hands. As for the keyboard, it is a typical ThinkPad keyboard, which I absolutely love. And I know most programmers love this who actually do a lot of typing as well. Although there is one difference, and that is that the control and function key is swapped back to the normal way around rather than having the function key on the very left. We've got a decent amount of key travel as well as a very smooth surface for each individual key and good spacing between each key as well. And I would consider these large size keys. The keys are backlit. It can control the lighting by pressing function spacebar. And there are three settings for so off, low, and high. And there is also a fingerprint scanner between the right control key and the left arrow key. As for the trackpad, I consider this quite a large size keypad. It has got a very class, silky smooth feel to it. And it is a haptic force pad. So it's not a mechanical pad. And initially at the start, I thought this might have issues with the typical drag and drop, as I found that seems to be an issue for a lot of the Macs that have that sort of haptic feedback as well. But I did not experience that issue for drag and drop, which is absolutely great to see. I had very good response from the haptic feedback trackpad. It is also multi-gesture as well. The palm rest is a smooth aluminum finish to it. And coupled with the glass, silky smooth finish of the trackpad, the overall feel of just typing and using the trackpad on this Z13 Gen 1 is absolutely fantastic to use. The Z13 Gen 1 comes with a 51 hour battery and I managed to get 8 hours and 32 minutes for the modern office battery life test in PC Mark 10. 2 hours and 58 minutes for gaming and 6 hours and 54 minutes for the video playback in Procon battery life test. Looking at the temperatures and fan noise, when I put the computer on low, I found most of the heat was near the center of the keyboard, which isn't surprising because that's where the processor lays underneath. When I took my measurement, my ambient room temperature was 19 degrees Celsius and the ambient room noise was 35 decibels. Before we get started, just give you a reference point, your average hand at this sort of te ambient temperature was about 33 to 34 degrees Celsius. So it can hopefully give you an idea of how hot or how cool this laptop could be. So I took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 31 degrees Celsius. And the, the fan noise was at 35 decibels, so still practically silent. And the average internal core temperature was 40 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% load on the computer, so that's pretty much like average use. So it's tasks like office productivity work, streaming video, surfing the web, and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 36 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed at 35 decibels. So you don't actually hear anything from this computer. And the average internal core temperature was 53 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% load on the computer and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in at 37 degrees Celsius. And the fan noise hit a maximum of 36 decibels. So I still considered this practically silent. And the average internal core temperature was 57 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% load on the computer and the hottest area on the keyboard measured in a maximum of 46 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it had a maximum of 42 decibels. And the average internal core temperature was 83 degrees Celsius. Then I also measured the bottom back cover when it was 100% load, and the hottest air on the back cover was 44 degrees Celsius. And of course, the fan noise stayed at 42 decibels. Looking at the result, the Z13 Gen 1 is practically quiet all the way through until you put a full low onto this computer. And even at full load, the fan isn't that noisy at all. Let's have a little stability performance of the processor for long duration tasks for the ThinkPad Z13. This particular one's configured with an AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 6860Z processor. Now, just a little bit more about this processor. It is, at the moment, as of recording this video, is exclusive to the ThinkPad Z13. Maybe later on, we'll see it in the other computers, but at the moment, it is on launch, it is exclusively to this pretty much laptop here. 
And look at the AMD website, it reports this processor has a maximum boost clock of up to 4.75 gigahertz and a base clock speed of 2.7 gigahertz. And the TDP is around anywhere between 15 to 28 watts, which is relatively quite low. And we have this computer connected to main power and set to best performance in Windows power scheme. And I also have pretty much 100% load on the processor memory and also the storage the ssd and that has been running for over close to seven hours and i can see the processor speed is anywhere ranging between about 2.6 to about 3 gigahertz so i'm going to average that out around about 2.75 gigahertz which i would say is above the just barely holding the base clock speed so it is still above uh, and it is ranging between there. So I can say this is pretty much stable at about 2.75 gigahertz. Now, considering this computer is ultra thin and ultra light, and this is not designed for long computation or long duration tasks, I think this is actually doing pretty well that the thermal system that Lenovo had placed into this ThinkPad Z13. And this process is doing pretty decent as well considering this has been running for over seven hours i don't think you'll see a laptop like this running seven hours for these high computations that it's trying to will be trying to do in a way looking at the single core performance and also the behavior of the processor in the z13 gen 1 it's pretty much a very rock stable 4.3 gigahertz all the way through the test in the single core task in citibench r23 hopefully this will give you an idea of its performance here's the benchmarks results this particular z13 gen 1 was configured with a ryzen 7 pro 6860z processor with 16 gigs ram and 512 gig ssd these are the results for pass mark citibench r23 pc mark 3d mark crystal disk mark fugan photoshop fugan lightroom fugan premiere pro Hugan After Effects, Hugan DaVinci Resolve, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Blender, Luxmark, Burmark, Compute Bench, Eugene Engine, and Spec View Prep. And some gaming benchmarks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 6 and F1 2021. Let's have a look at the internals of the Z13 Gen 1. First off, we need to unscrew the five Phillips head screws. Good to see Lenovo using Phillips head screws because that's easy to find that screwdriver. After that, I just need to pry it open. You don't really need to do too much to pry it open. I do suggest it from behind the hinge and then work your way across, but really this pretty much nearly pops out by itself after you unscrew the screws. And you just need to lift it from the back here where the hinge is, and I've just pre-undered this to speed up time. Now we've got at the bottom here is the 50 watt hour battery and you see the battery connector here you don't really need to unconnect it you actually just need to unscrew all the connectors and just lift this thing off, battery open it's a good idea to do that if you're actually working on the computer or doing some upgrades now above the on the right hand side is the ssd the m.2 it does have a heat shield i've just undid the two screws just so speed up time so you can see and it is a 2242 format as well now on the right hand side is the Bluetooth Wi-Fi module and on the left hand here you see this empty slot here. This is a module where you can actually install a WAN module and of course this is optional as well. Now we've got a dual fan system and you can see this is all heat sink as well. So we've got the processor lying underneath this right part component there and of course this has soldered memory. Overall, the Lenovo ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1 has a fantastic performance. And you wouldn't even know it's actually the performance is actually coming from this ultra lightweight and thin laptop. And as for the temperatures, it actually does very well for temperatures. And it is running practically solid until you put a full load on it. And even if you put a full load, the fan noise is not really that much considering compared to a lot of other laptops. And as for the looks and build quality of this laptop, this is where this thing shines. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I wish you can actually touch and feel this Z13 in person, because once you do, you go, wow, it is absolutely amazing. 
I think Apple's got something to learn from this. If for those who think that Apple has absolute premium products, this thing, he was way step ahead of Apple MacBooks here. And anyway, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, either support my channel, smash that like button for me. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And if you want to support me further, I also have a membership by clicking that join button. I do try to do a little bit extra for those members there. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.